me. <clears throat> Little Owlet in the Glen, I'm ashamed of you. You are ungrammatical in speaking as you do. You should say to whom, to whom, not to who, to who. Your little friend, Miss Katie, did. Maybe green, tis true, but you never heard her say, who the hell are you? I'm Roz Doyle, your new producer. Roz producer? Mm -hmm. Dr. Crane, I Yes, yes, but where's Dave? Uh, he got another assignment. But, but, but I, I, I was comfortable with Dave. <laughs> Look, Dr. Crane, I know you've been thrown a curve, but everything's going to be fine. But I did a mock show with Dave. I did mock call-ins, mock commercials, mock, mock news bulletin. Look, I got a bulletin for you. Dave's out, I'm in, and stop saying Mark. Well, oh. All right, look, Mr. Doyle, I'm, I'm sure you're quite capable, but Dave has 15 years of experience. I really prefer that he do it. Well, that would make two of us, wouldn't it? You know, I, can, I, I really think I, sh I should call management and, and ask for Dave. It's not really fair to Dave or to me. Dr. Crane, Dave dumped you. Why? <laughs> We were here until 2 a.m. this morning, to, as I explained to Dave in meticulous detail my philosophy of optimal mental health. It's a mystery, all right. Okay, look, I'm going to screen a few calls before no, we no, 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 as I explained to Dave before, no, there will be no call screening. You see, I want my show to be fresh and spontaneous, and call screening squelches all of that. And the mystery of Dave's departure deepens. <laughs> okay, you're on in five seconds. I'll give you a cue. Good afternoon, Seattle. <laughs> My name is Dr. Fraser Crane. If you can feel, I can heal. <laughs> Let's see who's on line one. Hello, this is Dr. Fraser Crane. You're on the couch. No, I'm not. I, I meant on the metaphorical couch. I, I'm in a beanbag chair, okay? Uh, moving on, then. Um, <clears throat> how can I help you? It's about my husband. Uh, look, I, I, I just can't do this. It's really too embarrassing for me. No, no, please, please, dear friend. You, you must. Uh, I'm really here to help you. Please, go ahead. <laughs> Well, you know, often in these cases, it helps if you restate your problem. But this time, try boiling it down to one succinct sentence. Now, how would you do that? My husband is dead. 